Manio Eliki, can you sum up the emotions of a 90 second minute equaliser for us? Um, it's quite hard, a bit of disappointment that we only got uh, one point at home but then a bit of relief as well. Uh, the boys battled really well to get that point. So yeah, it's quite a mix of emotions right now. Do you think it was a deserved point in the end? Yeah, yeah. I think um, especially second half we did um, put a lot of pressure on them. And to be fair to them, they died for the cause. Uh, the centre backs won a lot of headers. Midfielders worked really hard as well. But I think on the overall balance of play, uh, maybe a draw was fair. You've already said it's bittersweet, relief, joy, a little bit of disappointment as well. What was the mood in the dressing room at the end? I thought, I thought maybe when you get a late equaliser, it almost feels like a win, so you kind of go in on a high. But was that the case? Oh yeah, exactly that. It was bittersweet in there. Uh, we knew that we didn't perform to our high levels or the levels that we should be doing to achieve what we want to achieve this season. So that was disappointing, but also we were quite happy and relieved that we didn't just get away. Uh, that we got away at one point and we didn't leave with nothing. So I think I uh, probably on the whole a bit more disappointment than happiness. But um, yeah, we'll take it. I think we'll just have a little day off tomorrow, come back Thursday, and obviously reflect on it in the right way. What What did you make of the performance? You said it wasn't maybe quite quite the heights that we've we've seen from the team at certain times this season. Yeah, uh, I think it was a bit flat from us, especially in the first half. And uh, at any level, when you concede uh, first, you give yourself a bit of a mark to climb. So, um, yeah, I think the word is flat. We didn't penetrate enough, didn't make enough forward runs. Uh, not like we did in the second half. Second half, we were full throttle. Uh, we worked a lot harder. And I think that obviously put them under a lot of pressure and we kept going and we got a goal. And that's the kind of uh, pressure and attitude that we need to have for 90 minutes. There have been lots of balls into the box. One led to your goal. But when, when the equaliser doesn't come, with so much pressure, so much possession, and balls into the box, does it? Did it feel like the goal was going to come? You, you still believed? Yeah, you have to keep believing. You have to keep going. Uh, that's a game. Uh, it just takes one, one ball to drop down, and then, then like you score a goal. Or if you're not there, then you're looking at it like I should have been there. So you might as well at least go for it. Um, yeah, that's how football is. I think uh, Tranmere as well. When we were here, we got the last minute winner because we kept going, Mainstone as well, kept going. So I think that that's one good thing that we do have as a team. We do have that resilience, that um, that ability to just keep going regardless of the situation, regardless of how many crosses they've cleared it. But um, yeah, I think that we do need to be better when it's 0-0 and um, ensure that we, we score the first goal. Because I think that if we score the first goal, we kill Bromley off. And most teams, when we score first, it's quite hard for them to get back in. But um, yeah, most teams, when they score, they shut up shop and that's kind of hard for our game to break them down. Is that is that what you, you see as the home form has not, again, it's, it's not hit the heights that, that we want it to, that, that it has done in last season, earlier in the season. Is that one of the problems that you identify, that teams come here, they keep it tight, they try and frustrate us, know that the team plays open, expansive, attacking football, they try and keep it tight and frustrate us? Yeah, um, we're never going to change the way we play, so we need to obviously address, um, and we can't control how other teams play here, but we need to address um, what we can do when they spring off us on the counter-attack and, and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, something we need to work on. Uh, obviously, teams play a bit different when they're at their own, um, they're on, when they're at home, so they're a bit more open and expansive, and that suits us also, because then there's a bit more holes, a few more pockets to exploit with the players that we have, or the quality that we have. But um, yeah, when we're at home, uh, obviously most teams know that the only way we're going to get a point here or get anything is if we counter-attack, is if we kind of stay deep and counter-attack. So we need to be a bit better behind the ball when we lose it, because we're always going to lose it the way we play. And they're always going to have some sort of space the way we play, but we need to be better um, off the ball. Uh, so that when we lose it, they don't spring off us and, and score from counter-attacks. On to Wrexham this Saturday, another, another tough game against another team that's at the top of the table chasing promotion. Away form though has been excellent. You must be confident of going anywhere in this league and, and getting something at the moment. Yeah, well, form is form, you know. Like, that can change at any time. So I think it's just being confident in ourselves. And um, I think, I don't know, me personally as a player, I don't really think about form too much. I don't think like, we haven't won many games at home. We've won so many away. Like Every game is different. Every game poses a different challenge. So uh, we seem to be up for the challenge. Play as like, like we know we can play. And yeah, just compete more. And I think that, yeah, we'll come out with the result that we want. Excellent. Thank you very much, Manny. We'll, we'll see you in Wrexham on Saturday. Of course, man.